make a screen where the system identifies a certain amount as budget for this month. This is good. Oh wow. This, this is, is good. Far better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically LLMs today, there are no limitations right now. For example, ChatGPT, if you ask it to write a script, it will keep generating hundreds of scripts. Mm-hmm. Oh, responsive also. Huh? Crazy. Huh? Artificial intelligence is a replication of a human intelligence, right? So you are basically, you are becoming a person who will train the other person behave according to certain restrictions. So the better you are at training this person, the better designer you will become. AI can do a lot of hallucination. That means it can create so much. Your skill is in limiting it to create what you want. This is so similar to Figma. Like that side panel is Figma in itself. That's the best thing to do, right? That's how you build tools. This nice. Is really good. Anudeep, you were saying about this uh, learning model you came across in Guwahati, right? which will give us the UI screens. So we have to be extremely articulate about whatever we are going to create with our UI screens, right? Because there are so many decisions involved in when we are creating screens. Oh, this is interesting. It's using a GPT layer to... And... But it's telling the screens to be made, or is it? Oh, sorry, it's making it. So the whole interface is in conversation itself. Give the UI in chat itself. Yeah. Uh, pretty types. Yeah, right now, yeah, mm-hmm. it feels fun. But at least this is like more helpful. Like in chat GPT, we have to import images, import images, yes. whatever your thought process oh, is. Good. Oh wow. This, this is good. far better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these are still images, I think. No, there is a link from Figma also. Also the code. Yeah. Great like for designers training. and for the developers. <laughs> so... Gets copied to the clipboard, I guess. Yeah. Ah. Pretty decent screen. Yeah. It is generated. Let's use screen 19. Late 44, though. Oh, responsive also, huh? Crazy, huh? Auto layout is on, actually. It's on with on. Max. Ah, I know, that's what... With Max layout set. Oh, this has Max. Shit. Resizing has already min width. Also. And these boxes have Max also. The padding is also appropriate. Like... Crazy, this is very good. So what we'll do is we'll continue this chat, okay? Make a screen where user enters the or where the system identifies a certain amount as budget for this month and automatically locates it to several categories of expenses and users can edit it if they want to change this nice is really good see total budget is it is given and automatically allocated a few of them the, the, the money has not come here but it has to render it a little better but basically it's nice they can edit it the also gave two it. options also yes you know what these are exact two variations we spoke yeah. you talk the... two variations yeah <laughs> and over here yeah. the money is allocated also yeah see we see if can iteratively
Wow. Let's go. It's so basically LLMs today, the way they behave is there are no limitations right now. Like, for example, chat GPT, if you ask it to write a script, it will keep generating hundreds of scripts. Okay. So that's not the problem. The, the problem is limiting it. You want to limit it to certain rules. That's why your prompt becomes long. You say, do this, do that, no, don't do this. Mm -hmm. Give a lot of these restrictions and give the environment so that it works within those rules. Yeah. So yes, that's what you will do. Yes. In the same way, you will have to design a few workflows and you will set some rules. See, if I get LLM, imagine it like a person only. So artificial intelligence is a replication of an in, like a, a human intelligence, right? So imagine you have to train a person and say, now you have to operate within these rules. You have this brand design guidelines. You have this, that, whatever. And this is the tone in which we talk. And these are things we didn't figure out, but we want to remain like this basis. Others also do stuff. Use all these things and create the screens. You got it? So you can train a human like this, right? And you know that if you trust that person, they'll use their sensibilities to create stuff within that. The same thing AI will do now. So you are basically, you are becoming a person who will train the other person behave according to certain restrictions. So the better you are at this training this person, the better designer you will become. So this is what LLMs do. They predict huh. what can come next. That's what they're good at, but that's what limits them also. Is this endless? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> then we'll stop. We'll have light view. Generate. But again, again, you don't have to worry about this because the attention to detail you will build as a human is what will make you better at doing this. Because as I said, AI can do a lot of hallucination. That means it can create so much. Your skill is in limiting it to create what you want. So you need to have the attention to detail. Wow, crazy this is. Someone is taking a screenshot. You can also create an account. You can also create an account in Creative and try this. Is that scrollable? Yes. Below, below details are also there. Yes. And there are iterations for this also. Big P of the generated drafts of other editing. Code is also generated. The images are so, so apt now. The yeah. is so good. I was thinking of, will it be a working prototype for things like sliders also? Oh, see the padding for active movement. Yeah, not auto layouted yet. Not responsive. This is so similar to Figma, like that side panel is 
Figma in itself. That's the best thing to do, right? That's how you build tools. Figma was built using Sketch as the base. Is replicated Sketch. Okay, good starting point. All of you should try this this week, and I think you will get better ideas. Iterate. Figure out some more free tools and free things. Yeah. 